nice, nice. All right, Liam. So I think one of the most overlooked setup keys out there has got something to do with the lower half of the body, isn't mm -hmm. it? Right. And for the majority of players, if they did this one thing, yep. it could solve so many different aspects that they've spent hours All looking right. on YouTube, my mm -hmm. videos, everyone else of trying to fix, mm -hmm. right? What is that? Toe flare, to be very straight in. Okay. So, you know, you see a lot of different address positions, but I think one of the, one of the kind of quick wins, if you like, with, with the setter would be, if we're saying up to the golf ball, you want to go ahead and say up to that. We see a very common thing back in, you know, some some old style coaching, if you like, where the toes would be pointed straight, or if not, you see some instances where they're even pointing inward. Now, yeah. exactly. Now, the, one of the big things for that is straight away, we're restricting how much my knees and my hips can actually rotate or move in the golf swing. Mm. And not only that, you're going to find compensation to that. So generally speaking, you start to see players want to slide back as a result to try and generate some kind of movement. I can feel that in pins and back, hips straight, back away. And straight away. And that's going to have a knock-on effect to the kind of framework to the look of your backswing here. You're going to have some lift. You're not going to be able to create that depth. And therefore, subsequently, you're going to be swinging out and over the golf ball too much. Not only now, that, on top. Mm -hmm. This doesn't really look powerful at all, doesn't it? Correct. Correct. <laughs> and one of the big concepts that we're looking for, I think, you know, if you give yourself space or time in a golf swing, you're going to do a hell of a lot of good for yourself, right? And definitely rotating in the correct manner and rotating in the correct way, which we'll get into a little bit deeper here, just something for a small win of just rotating your feet out fractionally. Now, what's that going to do? It's now just enabled me instantaneously to free up my knees, free up my pelvis and my hips here to be able now exactly. We start to see the right leg straightening. We start to see the depth to the right hip in the backswing. And therefore, how much easier was it for you to complete a rotation with your upper body. Huge. Now we start to see this left arm more across the shoulder plane, but not only that, look at all this room you've got to swing into. Exactly right. Now that that's creating a hell of a lot of wins for you straight away. Yeah, and we see so many players are in this pursuit of a draw. Mm -hmm. Try to come from the inside and hit it. And they're making all these compensations in the 0.25 of a second in the downswing. Correct. Where you can essentially flare your toes seems almost too simple but mm -hmm. that actually frees up your lower body Massive. and your upper body to turn enough to add what's called depth Indeed. which what Liam was just saying is the golf club gets far enough behind you where it's then got plenty of room to come underneath exactly. and help right. promote that draw indeed okay mm -hmm. so the players who set up and let's say they take a face on video mm -hmm. and they're standing there and it doesn't look very powerful. Mm -hmm. uh, any other sport you play, you're going to have a bit of toe flare, right? Right. But let's say I'm standing there, I'm facing the golf ball, and they're in this position. What is a reference of how much they should flare it? So I'd always be looking, again, very, at bare minimum, you're looking for the toe yep. to be obviously more outside the heel line here. Exactly. So the point we're almost at a 45 degree angle here with the left foot. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And now we're looking for not so much with the, the right foot, but still, you know, you could go equal amounts, no problem mm -hmm. at all. So now we're just looking for these to be pointed out just a fraction. So obviously now we can see this left toe is pointed outward, the right toe is pointed outward, and now we're in a golden position. And, to, and also as well, a big thing, remember to stay nice and the, the tension's a big thing in the golf swing, right? So if we're really light in the ground, but we've got our kind of toes pointed outward, I'm now really allowing my, my right knee, my right hip to rotate for free. Yeah. Something I promote a lot in my coaching is creating an athletic dynamic motion mm -hmm. and toe flare for all of you at home watching this. One of the easiest things for you to do is pretend you're a soccer goalkeeper or you're waiting to return a tennis forehand or something similar, but you've got the club behind the ball and get that same feeling of moving your feet up and down Absolutely right. and you will be so surprised how natural it is Correct. to have those knees and those legs turn out into a position. Right where we're gonna have the toe flare. That also adds on exactly to what Liam was saying about ensuring that your body is loose, relaxed, and it's in a position where you can create a powerful swing. Absolutely right. There's nothing worse than seeing someone over the ball correct. doing this. Correct, correct. <laughs> and it just restricts, we see so many players now as well, you know, especially let's say players of the older generation that are struggling to turn, yep. you know, and, and they can see it on camera, they're not able to complete a full back swing or get to that 90 degree shoulder turn. You'll be surprised how much free stuff you get just by turning these out. Video it again on camera and just watch your right shoulder. It's just able to keep going. Mate, absolutely love it. So one last thing I will add. The first time you do this, you're going to feel like a duck. Yes, you honestly correct. Will. And that's what I tell yeah. people to feel like when they're over mm -hmm. the ball. Because 
you might be so used to having your toes squared on, you've built yep. this concept, this awareness that that's what you need to do, set up square. But no, we do want to flare. You've just heard from one of the best here coaching all the tour players out there that you need to flare your toes to ensure you're getting this body pivot Correct. enough depth Absolutely. to allow that golf club in. Mm -hmm. All right, Liam, so I'm going go. to make sure my toes are go. flared here, mate. Soft in the ground. Soft in the ground. A little bit of stamping up and down, feeling powerful. Off we go. Mm. Very nice. Perfect, man. I love Very it. Very nice. Cheers.